Convert your garage, they said. Build an ADU, they said. Just convert the garage, build out the basement. It'll be great. You can subdivide it, you can sell it separately. It's gonna create rental income. It's gonna be awesome. That's what everyone says, right? But what is the actual financial impact on the sales price of that home, or at least the home's value, with the ADU than without? That's what we're gonna talk about today on this video, and we're gonna start right now. Hey, my name is Hans, thanks for being here. Today I wanna to talk to you about the data that I have uncovered in the MLS to share with you about the value of an ADU. Now, what is an ADU first and foremost? Simply, it's a second unit, an ancillary dwelling unit, that's what ADU stands for. And some people call them in-laws, some people call them cottages or casitas. You'll see them run the gamut, but basically what we're talking about is a second unit with its own meter, its own sewer, kitchen, bathroom, either in the basement or standalone in the garage or rear part of the property that has its own utilities, its own four walls, its own space. And these have been a really hot topic as of late because a lot of the legislation that has passed recently about being able to subdivide, being able to create these more easily, and that's all really great for housing and for density, but the question is, is it worth it? If you build one of these, will you actually add value to your home? Will you have a diminishing return? Will it soar beyond what you've spent? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Make sure you stay all the way to the end because I'm gonna go over the data that came right out of the MLS to show you what the difference is between homes that sold with and without ADUs. So what I did is I went back over the last three years in 2021, 22, and 23, into the MLS and looked for homes in Alameda County, because I was looking for a big swath here of homes that sold with ADUs and homes that sold without, single family specifically. And so on average, I saw about 250 homes per year, plus or minus a little bit, selling with ADUs and nearly 10,000 without. So the sample sizes are certainly a little bit different size, but I think we pulled some interesting data that I wanna share with you on the video. So here's what the numbers say. On average in Alameda County in 2021, 22, and 23, a single family home sells for $1,370,195. All right, really nice beefy price point to start with. That's an average across all the luxury, all the starter homes, everything in between single family homes, and an average of $785 per square foot. So that's what it costs on average to live in Alameda County in a single family home. Now, when you look at that same data set single family, but you add that ADU, what happens? Well, actually the sales price goes up. You have $1,546,177 being your average sales price for homes here in the county with ADUs. But what's also interesting is your dollar per square foot drops by 66 bucks a square foot down to 720. What happened there? So in general, what's happening is when you market a home with an ADU on it, you have a measurement done of the main home plus the accessory dwelling unit. You add those together and you market that one number as your total square footage, and then you break it out later in the disclosures. So when you're looking at the online publicly available information from the MLS, you're seeing both crammed together. And what we know is that as square footage goes up, dollar per square foot goes down. There's a diminishing return. Generally speaking, the value of the first 1,200 square feet is the highest, and then it starts to drop off in our market in increments after that. So when you add 400, 500 more square feet, you wouldn't expect it to stay in a linear fashion. You would expect it to come down a little bit. So the data did support that narrative further here. So between different types of construction, there's sort of that prefab that some people are talking about where they build it off site, come and bring it and assemble it all the way to a complete custom construction on site with its own footing and walls and the whole thing. Prices can vary. I mean, I see them all over the place, somewhere between 100 and often on the upper end, 200, 250,000, depending on the size, the slope of the lot, 
how hard it's gonna to be to get utilities out there. So it can be, it's a six figure proposition, no question. But what we're seeing in the data is that that six figure investment pays off. Because on average, like I said, you get at least 175,000 more dollars for that home than if it has the ADU versus it doesn't. So does that mean that if you spent 225,000 building your ADU that you lost money? Absolutely not. In fact, it may have increased your home's value further. Again, we're dealing with averages. One other thing to consider, or a different way to look at it, is that on average, those homes with the accessory dwelling unit sold for $720 per square foot. If you're able to build an ADU for less than $720 a square foot, you're probably gonna be able to sell it for that average number. So you actually would have made money on that investment. So keep that in mind as you're getting quotes and as you're thinking about this, what it's gonna do to not only the value of the property, but your dollar per square foot. And if it lifts that up pretty significantly versus what you paid to build it, that's probably a positive investment as well. So there you have it. ADUs make your property more valuable. Now the question is again, because these are averages, by how much? Every property is unique, different, every neighborhood can support something different, every lot can support a different type, and sometimes they can be subdivided and sold separately, sometimes that doesn't make as much sense. So there's a lot of moving parts to this. I admit the data is not perfect, but you can start to see a trend line. Homes with these sell for more than homes without. The data is very clear. Hopefully that gave you some value. And if it did, make sure you give that video a like and subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna continue to put out content like this. And if you would like to have a conversation about your specific real estate situation, I'm gonna put my email and my phone number right here on the screen and down in the description. I would love to hear from you. So feel free to reach out anytime if you have any real estate question whatsoever because I hear from people like you every day who are starting their real estate journey here in the East Bay. So whether you're ready to buy or sell today or in a year from now, I'd love to initiate a conversation with you and answer your questions and set you up for your journey. So without any further ado, this is Hans with the Gunderman Group signing off for now. We'll see you on the next one.